Hey guys, John here. Happy Halloween. All right, so today we're gonna to be making those bells that we just heard here. So let's open up this patch and kind of see what's going on here. So basically this thing. So this one's not too complicated. A uh, quick thing before we start recreating this here, we're basically using three FM oscillators down here at the bottom. And then for the layer level, we have a three band compressor. We have the Thoris, Dual Delay X and Spark Verb. For the most part, most of these here are basically on the default stuff. We have a couple of presets here that we can choose from and kind of tweak from there. But for the most part, they're pretty simple to set up. And then here on the program level, we just have a little bit of corrective EQ, kind of cutting off the low end, correcting some of the mud, and then adding some high end, and then also taking away a little bit of that harshness here. And then we have a final maximizer to kind of glue everything in and kind of bring it up to our correct level. So yeah, let's go ahead and create these bells here. So let's close out this Falcon for now and then let's open up a fresh instance right over here. So let's take a look at this guy. So let's go to the top three and then a new program. So we have a blank slate. So here in our edit tab, what we can do is go to our oscillators and we have to add three of these FM. So let's edit the first one here and then we're gonna scroll down and then for the FM preset, we can go from default all the way down to marimba and this is kind of a nice setup here. So that's where we're gonna start off with here and then let's create another one so we can drag another one or we can hit the plus, whatever <laughs> you wanna do. So hit another FM here and then do the same thing. This is gonna be marimba. And then this one here, if your oscillators are linked to make sure to unlink that. And then this one here is going to be up one octave. So plus 12 semitones. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the next FM here and then change it again to marimba. And this one, the chorus tune is gonna be up 24. So we're doing kind of a three octave spread here. And yeah, so they're all marimba and this is zero or default zero semitones. This one is 12 and this one is 24. So let's turn off the first one here, or this, this third one, go to the second one, turn the volume all the way down and kind of mix these into taste. Just once we start hearing it kind of come in, we can kind of stop with a gain. And then for the next one, let's turn this on, turn the volume all the way down and kind of mix this one in as well. We almost kind of get a little bit of an organ kind of sound here. Now for our main amp envelope, we need to remove all of our sustain and then kind of dial in our decay to how we want it. And it kind of match our release as well. Something kind of like that. Now, a really cool thing about this type of patch here is if you notice the other one, I don't know if you picked it up, but the bells sound kind of feel like they're moving over through the stereo field. And we do this with a alternate modifier, which is like our ultimate alternate Modify, you'll see what I'm talking about, Jesus Christ. Okay, so here in the key groups where it says pan, we can right click this here, go to add modulation. Down in the other category, we have alternate. So basically every note that we hit is gonna go from one value to the other polar opposite value and kind of back and forth, right? So as I keep hitting different notes, it just bounce left and right and left and right. Now this is quite a big distance. So we kind of need to bring this slider down a little bit so it's not as crazy. So maybe we can just double click this and maybe go 0.25. And we can kind of see these dots here above the pan. So it's going 25% to the left and then 25% to the right on each different key that we press. And it's a good way to get some nice stereo feel. And then once we add the delays and then the reverb on that, it kind of just makes it sound a lot bigger than it really is. <laughs> We've all been there. Okay, so after that, let's go to the layer level. Now let's go to our effects here. And one of the first things that I put on this that sounded nice was the Thoris. And I really didn't feel like I needed to change the preset here. It kind of gives us that almost a little bit of detuning kind of sound here that we're kind of going for. It's not supposed to be this crystal clear, perfectly in tune bell. It's supposed to be a little, 
a little detuned kind of sounding, and this is kind of kind of works perfect for that. And then we need some delay here, so dual delay X. Let's go ahead and drag and drop this guy, and then we use this preset down here in the classic, the basic mono eight. And we do need to make some changes here, so the amount is kind of a lot. So let's bring this down here, maybe a little less high cut, and then increase our low cut to maybe 140. It's not, no, something like that's fine. I mean, we're not really gonna have that much in there, but. And the feedback might be a little bit much, so we can kind of bring this down a little bit. And if we want to on this left or right, we can always kind of just move this a little bit. Have a slight difference. That's kind of up to taste if you want to do that. So after the dual, de dual delay, we now would put some reverb. So we go with the spark verb and drag and drop this guy right over here. And then a nice hall reverb is kind of nice for this. So the classic hall and kind of maybe bring down the mix and give it some pre-delay, maybe, maybe 12 milliseconds. Okay, that's kind of cool here. So what we did as well before is we did add a three band compressor. So we can just click this plus really, or the list, it really depends on how you wanna get there. So we can go to dynamic three band compressor and go to a default and kind of move this here into the front. And really I just kind of went to the high end here and maybe, what are we at, 800? We can kind of move this over to like 1K or something like that. And kind of just compressing this a little bit. Giving the gain back. Just so those notes up there don't really hurt too much once we start playing up there. And then we can close this guy out. And then here on the program level, we can do a little bit of corrective EQ. So we can go to our equalizer and then the default, or default, the digital EQ. And let's open this guy up here. So a lot of that low end stuff we probably don't really need. Let me clean up a little bit here. And then there's always this kind of harsh tone to when you're making kind of bells. So we kind of need to find that and kind of soften that up a little bit. Yeah, kind of in that area. So we can kind of bring this down just a little bit here. In the very top end, it's kind of nice sometimes we can push a little bit here just to give a little bit of extra air to it. And also some of the low mids we can kind of remove as well. That kind of muddiness here. And this EQ is very sensitive, so a lot of small changes are kind of a little bit better. Okay, so after this here, we can go ahead and add the maximizer. So let's click this plus down here and go to the dynamic. And then down here on the maximizer, bring the threshold all the way up to the top here, all the way to the right, and kind of just slowly bring it into where we feel is right for this. And from here, we can always adjust the envelope a little bit here, maybe some more release. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that low end out here. Maybe kind of this guy, remove this a little bit over here. This is pretty much the basic patch here. We can always do some different macros depending on what we want. So we're not gonna actually go through the macros in this video, but something that I might suggest if you're doing this kind of patch here is maybe on each of these FM oscillators here, the gain, you could probably right click those and add those to macros. So on the front panel, you can kind of dial in the blend that you want, maybe the top one here, this guy. So if we turn this, these two off. Maybe that's a little bit too much or not enough. So you can kind of maybe dial in those three volumes on the front panel. That might be kind of cool as well. Or maybe the the uh, the amount of the delay or the reverb, something like that could be kind of cool. And yeah, that's probably what I would put. I don't know what else I would probably add to this. It's pretty simplistic, not too hard to make. But yeah, so let's go ahead and check it out with this thing here. So we turn off our regular bells and we kind of just play this here.
Yeah, definitely a lot of fun. I might even actually want to add a little bit. Maybe a little bit more release. More decay. And you don't always have to just use this, this sound for something like this. There's a lot of cool, pretty stuff you can do as well. So before we let you go, one thing I do want to show you here is in our events tab, we can add some cool kind of like ARP or something like that. So go to our events here and then maybe a basic two octave up. We can put this here. And then maybe two octaves is a little too much, a little too bright, but let's bring down to one. And kind of dial in your envelope to taste there. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do as well. So I'm gonna turn this off here for now so it's not activated. But if you want to get this patch, you can get it for free. And if you want this art on, just go to the events tab and just power this on here. And also feel free to go through a lot of these different presets here because there's a lot of cool stuff to discover. Or you can just make your own interesting preset. This arpeggiator is actually pretty cool here. So we're going to leave it like that. Just bring our decay back up, maybe a release. But yeah, if you'd like to get this patch, there's a link in the video description below. Hopefully you learned something and we will see you in the next video.